Pag-uusapan naman natin ang mga paraan upang malaman kung naiinis nga ba o napipiko <laughs> ng ating mga kausap sa pamagitan niya ng body language. Kasama natin this morning ang expert at suking-suking natin na si Doc She Lejano pagdating sa body language. Good morning! Good morning! Good morning. Good morning. Nakikipaalam nga ako lang sa inyo. Pero hindi ba, since andito na rin ako, walang kaayos-ayos. Ayun. O, Dok Che, paano ko ba malalaman na napipiko na sa akin si Angela kapag siya ay niloloko ko parati? Mga ganyan-ganyan. Ang una-una, yung normal body language ng acceptance is open stances, kagaya nung... Well, usual. Open yung arms, open yung palms, uh, people are nodding. Ang una mong hahanapin kapag nabibuisi ito, medyo ayaw ko nang kausap, mm. is yung tuning out. Okay. Tuning out means wala nang contact sa'yo, mm. hindi ka na tinitingnan. Yung body language niya, hindi sa'yo nakaturo, nakaturo mm. elsewhere. Mm. Tapos nag like, fidgeting. <laughs> oh, normally, ang titingnan mo, especially you were talking about sa yeah. babae, yeah. ang babae, ituturo niya yung kamay niya, yung muka niya, yung paa niya, mm. towards the nearest exit. Oh, ganyan ba yun? Oh, ayan, 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 nakaturo sa ano, nakaturo na sa pinto. Kasi magkasama kami kanina, hindi ko alam na magkigest ako tayo. Yes, so, mukha sa hining kasi sa taas kanina. Eh, paano yun, ano, Dok, siya, yung halimbawa pag nakikipag-usap ko, tapos bigla nagtetext na lang bigla yun. Tapos may, ayan, 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 ayan. That's a very good question, kasi, ang problema ng society ngayon, kasi yung mga devices na yan, Ako. nagiging part and parcel of our existence. Yes. Na, True. it's taking up all of our attention. Yeah. Yeah. Number one, uh, nagsisimula yan sa mga nanay. Oh. Huwag na natin sabihin na ano, kung sino yung mga nanay na ganun. Pero, ginagawa nilang babysitter yung device. Oo oh, nga. Oh. TV, so, TV. correct. Lahat. Mm -hmm. Hindi na nga TV eh. Uh, Two-year-old, may iPad. iPhone. Oh, Two-year-old, may iPhone. Three-year-old, naka-iPad na. So, parang nagiging comfort something na natin yan. Mm -hmm. So, pag nandun tayo in one place, kunyari, meron kang ini... But of course, no? Tama rin yung sinabi niya. Baka nag-tune out na rin siya, kaya meron ganun. Pero, mm -hmm. it's part and parcel of our lives na hindi na natin mm -hmm. tinitreat na bastos eh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pero, literally, bastos, bastos yan. Bastos yun eh, di ba? Oh. Tsaka, if you go to a restaurant, anong common? Pagkaupo, yeah, pagkaupo, <laughs> kahit long time no see, nakatungo na yung mga tao. Eh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Sa kalaban niya, pagka, pagka yes, nag-dinner sila, di ba, mm. magkakasamang ganyan, correct. tapos kanya lahat nakaganyan. Ay, yung mong family, nag-ganaro, di ba? Hindi, ang nangyari nga niya, I was at, at, at dinner once, and then I pointed out, no, sa likod namin, sabi ko, tingnan mo yung nasa likod ko. Mm. Nakatungo, mm. nag-order, ba, tingalaan lahat, order oh, sila. Akala ko, mag-i-interact na, magbababa ng, <laughs> ng, ng device. <laughs> Hindi, balik dun sa <laughs> device. Dumating yung pagkain, kumain sila. After. Tapos, after the meal, akala ko, syempre, may interaction, which is normal for us. <laughs> Older generation na wala pa yung, ano, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Older generation. Yeah. Anyway. So, pagkakain ng pagkakain nila, pagkakain ng pagkakain, pagkakain ng pagkakain nila, akala mo nga mag-i-interact. Because kakakain mo lang, eh. Supposed to be bonding time na yun, eh. Hindi, diretso sa device, ulit. Nung dumating yung bill, nagtingalaan, tapos tinuro yung isa, balik na naman sa device. Walang unang walang interaction. Eh bakit mo napapansin yun, Dok? Che, sino ba yung kadiner mo yan? Bakit ang business ay pansinin mo yung kabilang mo yun? Kasi, you're veering away. Kasi, we came from a multinational na gumawa kami ng training. So, we were having dinner, kasama ko yung mga image consultant na team ko. So, nagtuturuan kami. So, as soon as nandun kami na pa po, nakikita namin nangyayari, nguso na kami. Kala ko dito eh. Kaya nga, ako lang yun na walang interaction, nag-i-interact sila. They're actually texting each other. Pero doon pwede na yun. William. Sa ibang cultures, they actually find this still bastos. Like ano, in some places. Yes, correct. Actually, many places, majority of places, bastos yun. Primarily because when you go to a place, it's supposed to be a place where you interact with people. You don't interact with the device. However, the device is now part and parcel of your existence. That becomes a person. You are, that's just like people who love dogs. Their dogs are actually more than people to them. Yes. You cannot exist now with the phone. Kasi dyan din nangyayari yung phenomenon na nagwawala yung bata pag tinanggal mo yung device. Hindi ko na kasi nasabi phone lang kasi device na eh. Naka-iPad, naka-iPhone, naka-SAP. Exactly. 
when you take away the plaything, yeah. that becomes something that's part of their existence and you take it away, kaya nagwawala. Mm -hmm. So, Dr. Che, paano nila, kunwari, kung nagiging parang normal uh, mm -hmm. uh, occurrence na ngayon na nakaganon sa device and mm -hmm. all, so paano mo ngayon malalaman kung nabibwisit na sa akin uh, si Angel, oh, oh. kinakausap ko siya, tapos nagaganon siya. Eh, para for me, normal lang pala yun. Okay. The normality of it is interrupted by the fact na they still look up. Mm -hmm. And they still look at you and wait. And then, and sometimes, there are people who can do multitasking, two or yeah, three things. Oh. Especially the women who have listening. more brain yeah, area. Yeah, Mas maraming yeah. brain area ang babae yes. para mag-multitasking. Mm -hmm. Ang lalaki, normally, one or two things lang yan, yes. mahirap na. Mm -hmm. But, in this case, <laughs> if they still acknowledge you, titingnan ka pa rin, tapos sa'yo pa rin nakaturo yung body language, yeah. oh, oh. maybe, yung ang problema nga dyan is parang meron laging kumakalabit mm -hmm. na device. Eh. Mm -hmm. But in this case, if they still go back to you, mm -hmm. hindi pa buwisit yun. Mm -hmm. Kasi they're still waiting for you to... <laughs> Be more interesting than the device. Yun ang challenge. Yeah, yun ang challenge. Yes. Oh, pa paano pag ano? Pag galing ba nagbuntong hindi nga yung gumanon? Can you judge na? Can you say na? Medyo bored na sa yun. Oh, that's where the general thing comes in. Na you have to, you cannot take things in isolation. Yung ganon. Kailangan. Titing namo, nagbuntong hindi nga ba siya na tumitingin na dun sa exit? O nagbuntong hindi nga siya na babalik kagad sa yon. Maybe something happened, maybe nanggal nanggaling dun sa device, maybe, or maybe meron siyang iniisip na mas importante. Because sometimes there are people na very important that they're like three meetings one after the other. Bakakamo may iniisip na yon, then they're thinking, medyo mahirap yata yung negotiations dun, then. Ay, yung tingin ng tingin sa relo. Yung tingin ng tingin sa relo, well, if you know that the person is busy and siningit ka lang, don't be offended. You have to practice at what we call your elevator pitch. Because you have that you have that 20 to 30 second window na to catch their attention. But if you catch somebody's attention, bigla na lang tuloy-tuloy yung meeting nyo. Kasi there was once na we had this important meeting na hindi pa niya alam about image, body language, branding. Once we started, yung 10-minute meeting naging 2 and a half hours. Okay. Dami talaga natin na tututunan kay Dr. Che Lejano. Maraming salamat sa pagtuturo sa amin sa crash course of reading body language sa mga nabibwisit sa atin. Maraming salamat again, Dr. Che Lejano. May part 2 yan. May part 2!